how to crop in CapCut. Let's take a look. We're in CapCut for desktop on PC. I'm using version 4.6.0 beta test version 3, but cropping in CapCut has not changed in quite a few different version releases. So as long as you're not way, way, way behind in updates, this should all be the same. We're gonna work with this clip right here, which is just a screenshot of my website. And the premise we're going with here is that I wanna talk about this article in a video, but as the screenshot stands, well, one, it doesn't fill the screen vertically. And it also, I don't really need this other stuff over on the right. I don't need the background and I need this to be a little bit bigger so we can see it. Those would all be great reasons to crop this image, scale it up a little, bit maybe put a background behind it or make it cover the whole width of the screen so we've got the clip selected and i know it's selected because i have this white border around it whereas the other clips that aren't selected don't and if i can see this frame with these little grab handles on the corners i know i've got the thing selected with it selected i'll come right here to this little button that says resize it's just above the timeline in this row of buttons on the left it's the very last one We'll click on resize and now we've got a couple of options in this modal that pops up we can crop which will trim the size of that image or we can ai expand i'm not into ai expand i just want to crop this thing and make it fit if you leave the crop ratio set at free that'll let you drag these handles and crop it any which way you want a little off the left a little off the top a lot off the right however you want to do that if we change that crop ratio from free, we can pick one of the aspect ratios like one to one, which is a square. So now we can move this square around anywhere we want and we can make the square smaller or bigger, but it's always gonna make us stay in a square. You can do the same thing. Like if you're trying to do a vertical video, you can select nine by 16 and that'll show you what you can get within that aspect ratio. I'm gonna leave it on free because I really do wanna crop out certain things and leave certain things. Then on this left side, we're just going to drag this handle in. What I don't like about this in CapCut is that it's one size. I can't zoom it in and see what I'm cropping up close. And also, if I have different tracks on this timeline, I'm unable to see what's behind it. So I can't quite see what I'm revealing or covering up. So I'm going to get as close as I can here. Usually if it's something like this, it might take me a couple of tries to get it exactly where I want it. Once we think we're happy with where we've got it, we just hit this confirm button and that is looking a lot better. I do think I need to take a little bit more off the right. So I just come back in, hit that resize button again, and I'll bring the right in just a hair. The way I do it, I usually end up taking off not enough, then too much. So we'll hit confirm. We still didn't get quite all of it. Third time's a charm. I'm pretty happy with that. And now I can either throw a background behind this so that it looks snazzy, or more importantly, what I wanted to do was have this be quite a bit bigger so that it's easier to read when I put it on screen. So now, other than just being a little fuzzy from the resolution of the original image, it's much easier to read and it doesn't have all those other distractions around it. And that's how you crop in CapCut for desktop. I hope you found it helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.